Are you affirming for a week and nothing is happening? On the other hand, a random person sitting in another corner of the world manifested their desire by only affirming for three days. Why is it so? Why it worked for them quickly, while you are still not getting the things you desire? If it sounds like your story, then you are in the right spot, because in this video, I will try to shed some light on what that random person did that you didn't. So, stay with me till the end as I unwrap the secrets and mistakes made by some of you while manifesting their desires. I have seen people in manifestation groups and YouTube video comment sections crying and complaining by saying that I have been affirming for the past week, but nothing is happening for me. There is no movement in my reality. This happens to many people. All they do is affirm and then look at their reality. They affirm for a few minutes, then check their 3D reality. They affirm, my SP is texting me right now for a few minutes, and then they hold their phones and check if their SP messaged them. All they do is affirm and look for their manifestation, which is a huge mistake when manifesting their desire. They perform this mistake every day, every hour, and expect the results to show up. They have started treating manifestation like wishful thinking, where they say affirmation a few times and then wait for it to happen. I am sure you too might have made such mistakes when manifesting desires. You spent your days wondering. Where is your manifestation? How long will it take to show up? In other words, you are just an impatient person who is waiting for it to happen. This is not how manifestation works. You know very well that you have to assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled in order to manifest your desire. You have to think from the feeling of the wish fulfilled or from the place of already having your desire. But all you do is wait for it to happen. You forget that you have to think that it has already happened and that you already have it. You don't have to wait for it to happen. It is not going to happen as it has already happened. It has happened in your imagination, and you already have it. That's it. Lol, replay the last few lines again and again, or just slow down the video, or just pause and read that again and again. Stop making it a wishful thinking where you affirm a few times and then check your external reality. It does not work that way. It took some time to reach a place where your specific person has blocked you or is ignoring you. Once, you were at a place where you were the center of attraction in your specific person's life. It took you some time to reach a place where they didn't have any interest in you. It didn't happen overnight, right? Now, when it comes to changing their behavior towards you, it will not take years, but it requires some time. It requires dedication. It requires truly living from the end state of being, and it requires discipline. Your affirmations are not some magical wand. They are just your thoughts, the thoughts you think about every day, the thoughts you entertain and dwell on every day. Your assumptions and your dominant thoughts change, and you accepted a lower concept of yourself where a specific person could ignore you and block you. Now, it is in your hands to change it totally. Be patient with the process. Make your affirmations your dominant thoughts and just stay with this. New thought pattern. It might take some time to unfold, but your dominant assumptions have to be changed. You never know what is going on behind the scenes. You never know how many people are performing their acts in order for you to get what you desire. So, stop creating unnecessary blockages. If you cannot see it physically yet, don't assume that there is no movement in the physical reality. Things are happening at their pace. Things are changing every moment. Stop thinking about how long it is going to take for it to happen. Stop searching for evidence. Evidence will appear in front of you. Affirming is not some technique. It is a lifestyle. It is the discipline of maintaining thoughts that are in your favor and making them your dominant assumptions. Like in the gym, you lift weights and focus on the muscles to make them broader and more defined. In a similar fashion, you have to focus and change your thoughts. You are always thinking about something or another. Just think it will be in your favor. Your thoughts dictate which state you will enter and which reality you will experience, which in turn will determine the 3D experiences that you will encounter. Stop looking at time. Stop focusing on when it will happen, as it has already happened. You are already that which you want to be, and your refusal to believe it is the only reason you do not see it. You cannot fail. You cannot lose, even if it takes a day, a few weeks, or three months. You will get what you desire. You have probably heard that the only way you lose is if you quit. No one is stopping you. Only you are stopping yourself from having it by indulging in the opposite thoughts. Always ask yourself if you want that desire or not. If the answer is yes, then you must persist in the new state of being. The state of having your desires. The state where your wish had come true. You have to motivate yourself with every movement, even if the reality is totally opposite. There was a time when I had an SP who blocked me and didn't want to talk to me. I was in a low state, or I had lowered my concepts about myself. Now, when I look at those times, I totally understand what went wrong. I had a low self-concept, and that was the major reason that SP ignored me. But once I was like, I don't give a damn, and I enjoyed my life, I started making new friends, affirming a new story in my mind about myself, and attending parties. Then SP changed their behavior towards me. 
Once, she saw me going to a party with one of my friends. I didn't wave or say anything to her and went on my way. And the next day she called me while she was high, she consumed alcohol and was asking me if I was in a relationship with someone new. She told me she misses me, and she thinks that I don't like her anymore. Now that I look back at it, I will share what exactly happened. It was not like I affirmed that I was important, loved, and wanted and then checked the 3D reality. It was not like I checked my phone constantly, stalked my SP, or looked for evidence. It happened on its own. It was like, that day when I started loving myself and working on my self-concept, life showered me with beautiful experiences. I knew that things would happen, tables would turn, situations would become favorable, and I would experience a different reality. I was not waiting for it to happen. I was living my life as if it had already happened. I didn't look for evidence, it simply appeared in front of me. All I did was change the way I think and imagine the best outcomes for me. You can do it too. Whenever some thoughts pop up, I ask myself, do I want to experience them in the near future? If the answer is yes, then I don't bother with it. If the answer is no or the thoughts are negative for me, then I change them by persisting in new thoughts. That's how things change. So, I hope you received this information in depth. Subscribe to watch more such videos. I will meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting!